For the penultimate episode of the Your Icing Wrong series, we get another chance at a rebuttal. 15-7 Restorations Ice takes on Salon Care 40. Today, 15-7 Restorations Ice gets its chance at redemption, and we're gonna try to ice up the souls of these Zoom rookies. Let's take a closer look so you can see these things beforehand. You can see that these kicks are pretty beat up, and you might even be able to tell that the outsoles are starting to detach. And there's a lot of just generalized wear throughout the shoes. Besides the outsole separating, you can tell that it is incredibly yellow. These things are supposed to be a much more clear, kind of cloudy, translucent color. They are definitely looking like they need an icing. Now that you guys have had a chance to see these things up close, it's time to apply the sauces. Luckily, the soles have already had a deep clean, so I don't have to do that for this project. Let's get down to the icing. The first comparison we need to make between our sauces is price point. Salon Care 40 Volume Cream can be found on Amazon.com in a 4 ounce container for $13.83, a 16 ounce container for $14.99, or a 32 ounce container for $26.30. Unfortunately, 15-7 Restoration Ice is no longer available as he's currently taking a break from producing product, but back in March 2020, there was a post on Instagram where an 8-ounce container could be purchased for $10, or a 32-ounce container could be purchased for $20. After getting the sauce applied, I had to get the kicks in my ice box, and after 48 hours, it was time to remove them and clean off all the old excess sauce before taking comparison shots. Of course, I do my typical dry clean where I use a paper towel as well as some Q-tips to get off all the excess sauce. And then I head over to the sink where I clean off the soles using my Dremel Versa and some sneaker cleaner to make sure all of the old sauce is removed. These Zoom Rookies have officially been in the ice box for 48 hours. It's time to take a closer look so we can see what the results are like after our first session of icing. Both of these shoes have definitely de-yellowed a bit, but they still seem to have this yellow sort of tint to them. I would have to say that the right shoe is actually looking a hair better, especially up around the forefoot of the sole. The heels to me are looking pretty similar and if anything I think that the left heel is actually looking a little bit better. So far after this one round of icing it seems like 15-7 Restorations Ice has a slight edge. From this angle this left shoe the heel almost looks slightly better but as we get up to the forefoot it does look a bit more yellow on that left shoe and that right shoe just has a little bit more of a clear translucent kind of look to it you can definitely see through the right shoe just a little bit easier with less of that yellow haze now that you guys have seen close-up video of these zoom rookies it's time to get a second session in the ice box so we're going to apply a fresh layer of sauce Another important consideration in purchasing your sauce is the actual application process. As many of you might know, Salon Care 40 is a very runny type of substance which can make the application a little bit more challenging because you have to be more precise with where you're putting it as to not get it on the uppers of the kicks. Unfortunately, 15-7 Restorations Ice is also a bit of a runny type of substance. In previous communications with 15-7 Restorations, he did mention to me that it's important to do very light layers and he actually only recommends 24 hour sessions at most, which is something that we might take into consideration in future tests. But for the purposes of this series, we're gonna keep it with the 48 hour session. Of course, after getting the sauce on the kicks, it's time to get them in the ice box for our second 48 hour session. And after they've been in there for a full 48 hours, you gotta clean off all the excess sauce by using a dry clean and then a wet clean. Now that these pennies have been in the ice box for another 48 hour session, let's take a closer look and see what our results are like. Initially, I was a bit taken aback because the right shoe actually looked like it was a lot more yellow than the left shoe. But what I started to realize was it looked more yellow in the areas of the outsole that had separated from the midsole. When I pulled back a couple of sections on the left shoe that had previously seemed to be pretty unyellowed, 
they appeared a ton more yellow due to the excess glue that remained on the outsole. Unfortunately, I can't give any sort of definitive answer on which of these products is superior because the test results were really inconclusive. Because of that, you guys can look forward to another comparison video of 15.7 Restoration in Series 2 of Your Icing Wrong, coming soon. Even though we weren't able to draw any sort of conclusion today, I hope that you guys were able to learn a little bit of something. If you did, make sure that you click the like button as well as the subscribe button. It only takes 10 seconds and it also helps this channel in a big way. As per usual, thank you to everybody that stuck around until the cold, bitter end of this video. You guys already know, I'm Sailboat and I'm out of here.